And KVGC News Time now, seven minutes after the hour. Time for a look at the news. It's a Tuesday, the 16th day of July for 2019. Here's what's going on in the news. After being tended to by six generations and open to the public for over 80 years, Daffodil Hill will close its gates to the public for good. The reason? The overwhelming popularity of the hill. After the crush of visitors that descended upon the hill this year, the Ryan family came to realize that the limitation on the size of the parking area and the inability of the local road infrastructure to handle the volume of vehicles created a liability and safety concerns for everyone involved. Thousands of visitors flocked to the hill on opening weekend this year, resulting in the road system becoming so congested that the wait just to get to the parking area sometimes took as long as two hours. Despite the best of efforts, the volume of visitors was just too much for the roadways, the hill itself, and there simply is just not enough space for everyone to park. So after carefully examining numerous potential remedies to reduce traffic and visitors, the family reached the same conclusion, that the narrow roads and the hill property's infrastructure cannot be changed. So despite the best efforts, the volume of visitors, just too much for the roadways and the hill itself. The Ryans thank everyone who has visited the hill in the past, those friends and service groups that have helped out at the hill, the CHP for traffic control, and especially Amador County for all the support over the years. Well, the Sutter Creek City Council has voted to formally end the development agreement that formed the basis of the Gold Rush Ranch project, ending the large-scale project. It's been debated for years. Approved by the Sutter Creek City Council and city voters and closely contested referendum in 2010, the Gold Rush Ranch project would have brought thousands of new homes, a golf course resort, and new commercial development to the city. The project stalled, however, and no developer moved forward with any of the improvements needed to begin the project. An important deadline passed January this year when no agreement was made to build a new sewer plant, a requirement of the development agreement between the city and the Gold Rush Ranch developer, effectively killing the agreement and the entire project. Monday night, the council voted to formally remove the development agreement from the property titles of the affected properties. Any development for the land which lies on the city's southwest edge would need to start from scratch. Now, in other business, the council continued to work on the city's general plan update, approving the environmental review for the document, and debating the fate of a few remaining properties that have problems with their land use designation. The council also formally approved the final draft of the city's budget for the fiscal year. And Cal Fire crews battled a 200-acre vegetation fire in the area of Highway 4 and Milton Road west of Comparopolis yesterday. First reported around 11 o'clock, the forward progress of the fire was stopped around 12.30 with full containment called at just after 5.30 last evening. Both ground crews and air attack from Columbia assisted in the fight. No homes were threatened and the cause under investigation. And Cal Fire announces the burn at the Amoroso Ranch in Fiddletown will take place today. 60 acres of fuel reduction burn taking place from 8 a.m. to 3 p.m. Again, this is the Amoroso Ranch in Fiddletown. Smoke may be visible from the area. And the search will continue today for a man reported missing in the waters of Party Reservoir. According to the Amador Sheriff's Office, Saturday evening about 845, dispatch received the report of a male subject in the water at Party Reservoir. According to the reporting party, they saw the man in the water struggling to stay afloat approximately a half a mile from the Party Marina boat ramp. Before the reporting party could get to the subject to assist him, he went below the surface and did not come back up. Deputies responded to the scene with the assistance of East Bay Mud Rangers to mark the location and recovered a boat associated with the missing person. A boat trailer and vehicle were also located in the marina parking lot. On Sunday, members of the Calaveras Marine Unit and dive team responded to the area and, with the use of side-scan sonar, conducted a search for the subject but were unable to make a recovery. Yesterday, the search continued with the assistance of a remotely operated underwater vehicle from the Calaveras County Sheriff's Office. Officials say the search has been hampered by approximately 80 to 90 foot depths of the reservoir in the search area. 
and two Valley Springs residents behind bars after their arrest for an alleged robbery along St. Andrews Road in Valley Springs Friday morning. According to reports, Calaveras Sheriff detectives determined 33-year-old Dustin Walker of Valley Springs reportedly used a firearm to steal a cell phone and the keys of an acquaintance Mercedes. A second suspect, 33-year-old Angela Lindlau of Valley Springs, allegedly participated in luring the victim to the location he was robbed. About a half hour later, sheriff officials located the stolen Mercedes in front of a mobile home park on Sequoia Avenue. Walker soon spotted walking in the area and placed under arrest. Lin Lau was later found at a nearby residence, also taken into custody. The sheriff's office reports the pair will face charges of robbery, vehicle theft, false imprisonment, criminal threats, and conspiracy to commit a crime. And the Motherload Cruisers recently awarded checks from the club's May car show in the amount of $5,000 each to Hospice of Amador and Calaveras and the Tri-County Wildlife. Hospice of Amador and Calaveras Executive Director Arian Dabian says Hospice is again blessed and honored to be named as a recipient in this fun event. The funds will go to patient care services and serve in a multitude of ways. For 35 years, the agency has never turned away a patient for inability to pay. The Motherload Cruisers is a vintage car club with members primarily based in Amador County and surrounding Sierra Foothill communities. Their annual Jackson Main Street Car Show is held each year on the third Sunday, or make that the third Saturday in May. Hospice of Amador and Calaveras, they're the region's only independent nonprofit hospice agency serving residents of Amador and Calaveras County. Now, for more information, visit hospiceofamador.org or call 223-5500. And that's a look at local news on a gold country. Tuesday morning from the KVGC News Center. I'm J.D. And I'm Jim Geedy reporting. Remember, for the latest news, traffic, and weather 24 hours a day, you can always visit our website. That's kvgcradio.com.